During a fully loaded voyage of a 135,000 ton deadweight oil tanker and in heavy weather, the port ship side at tank number 2B collapsed. The tank was open to the sea, but as it was a segregated ballast tank, no pollution was caused. After unloading the cargo and gas freeing the tanks, the thickness of the web plate was found corroded down to 40% of original thickness and the web plate of the transverse web frames had buckled just below the deck transverses. Similar corrosion wastage was found in the starboard tank, although no collapse had yet taken place. During the completion of the second renewal survey of the hull of this tanker, extensive repairs and renewals had been carried out in the segregated ballast tanks, including wing tanks numbers 2B, port and starboard. Heavy corrosion had taken place in the upper part of these tanks that was beyond acceptable limits. The deck transverses were at that time totally renewed, but the heavily corroded transverse web frames in the tanks were not dealt with. The lessons to be learned from this are, do proper and regular maintenance of the internal structure of segregated ballast tanks. When repairs are necessary, all structures found by measurements to be below the thickness accepted by the classification society should all be dealt with at the same time.